favorite dish that, that my mother and me used to like to make, and that's on a Sunday morning, man. On a Sunday morning, you have some nice, uh, a nice shrimp and gravy over a hot plate of grits. Oh, man, it's just like you in heaven, man. I mean, it's so, it's so nice, and it's, it, it is so good in something that we used to. And don't must it have a biscuit or something on the side of it. Gracious peace. Man, you think you, you, you might hurt yourself. And another dish, two days they like to make, during the middle of the day, sometimes they take some, they take a little less shrimp and stir, and, and stir fry it in a little bit of onion, put that shrimp and a little bit of onion and mix the shrimp and rice together. Oh man, that's a dish you got. Man, you couldn't, but now let me tell you now, the Cadillac, and sometimes you would find that on, 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 even on a Sunday, if you'd be able to saute some, some shrimp and okra together, ooh, man. That shrimp and okra, and it make you hurt yourself. I'm getting ready to stir fry the onion. You got to cook your onion a little bit first, you know. And then you add your shrimp. So I can show you how to do it the golf style way. Most people just make all kind of roux and all kind of different things. I'm going to show you how to make your flavor stay in the gravy. All right, I'm going to start with stir fry some onion. I'm gonna show you how to make color style. Make a color style. Make, and I'll tell you what, that smell, ooh, -wee. that smell gets you ready every bite. You just watch me. Color style, low thought. All right, that's enough onion. We're gonna get this onion kind of sizzling around. And the shrimp and gravy, you don't need much. You don't need much on the shrimp and gravy, you know. Because nothing but a little onion, salt, and pepper. And you know what you're doing with some good old uh, uh, low country shrimp, that nice brown shrimp. Man, I smell that ramen. You can smell them a half a mile away. Everybody smell them, go run to your house, you know. What? Watch this right here. And man, now the onion will start making a little smell. We get the onion smelling. Hear that onion? Oh man, they're getting ready. And I can tell you what now, we can add a little seasoning to them because everything got to cook together. All right, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of, a, a, a little bit of garlic, just a pinch of garlic. While it's cooking, you got to do it all together. A little bit of garlic. Let that cook a little bit. Oh, look at that. Let it cook together, that's what you want. Right now we putting the flavor together. Show y'all how to make gullah style shrimp and gravy. All them people will call themselves to make this and make that. No man, that's the real way to do it, yo. Yeah. Bill Green, what? Man, y'all gonna love this, yo. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put a little shot of pepper in it. Kind of boost them up a little bit. Let's get them ready to start with. All right. That's what we go with the pepper. All right. While that cooking, we get a handful of shrimp. That's what you got to do with your shrimp now. That's what you want right there. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of salt. You just be careful with your salt. And a little bit of pepper. All right. All right, now we got some all-purpose flour. That's what you got to do, you know. That's what you got to do right there. Now, I'm going to show you. The flour help keep your shrimp from dry out. So what you want to do is get a little coating on it, and, the, and it help keep the moisture in them, and the, and the shrimp will just be mm, so good, man. All right, yes, lettuce, that's what you want to do. Man, in the mix, woo, you can smell them coming out now. See that shrimp starting to get a, getting a little pink there? Oh, you can smell it now. Everybody knew you cooking shrimp and gravy now. You done smell them. And along with that onion, oh man, you know where your heart said, what? Man, so that right there, it'll make them melt in your mouth. It'll make, what? Woo!
Watch this, y'all. I'm going to come right here with a little bit more flour. Oh, yeah. This will be getting ready to make our gravy. About three or four teaspoons of flour. All depends on how thick you like your gravy. If you like a thick gravy, then that's, where you, that's what you go with. See, if you like the gravy thick, if you don't care about your gravy being thick, whoo, that's what you do now. We making gravy now. Wow. Well, and the browner you let your flour get, the darker your gravy. But we ain't gonna look for a real dark gravy. We just want a little golden color, but we ain't want a real dark. And we ain't want a white, but we just want them almost the color of the shrimp. Yeah, we just want them a little, almost a little bit, just about a little. All right. See, you don't know that could turn like a gravy, but you're making your own gravy. And you're making your gravy with the shrimp juice. Your shrimp already done cooked, uh, cooked in the oil a little bit. So you're making your shrimp soup. Woo, boy, you will have something. Watch this thing turn the gravy now. Show you how to make them yourself. Yes, sir. We got that gravy coming, boy. What? Woo, look at that. That's what you want right there. Look at that there. Woo. Great. Go look at that gravy you got there. What? I'm going to move with my spoon on this one. Let me. Oh, look at that gravy there. And that's a great. Go and that a beautiful gravy. And that a beautiful gravy. A little bit thick. I'm going to go with a tiny bit more water. All right. And I want to go with half a, half a teaspoon of salt. Let's get some flavor in there. All right. Not much salt. Now you will go with your pepper. Ain't much. Oh, boy, you got yourself something, yeah. See, let the taste. All right. Slow it down. That's the thing about gullah style cooking. You got to slow it down. You get in a hurry, and you're in trouble. Look at that gravy. Oh, man, that's good over some grits. Oh, that's good over some cornbread. Now let me taste them and see what I got. See if I need to do anything else to them. Let me see if I need to do anything else up to it. Ooh, man, you could taste that shrimp. Quack! Oh, you got something there. That's the way to make some good gullah style shrimp and gravy.